Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on Arrow Season 5. Obviously, in the most recent episode of Arrow Season 5, that being Episode 6, which was otherwise entitled So It Begins, we were properly introduced to the big bad for this season, that being Prometheus, who is a sword-wielding, arrow-firing, like, throwing star, throwing ninja dude. Obviously, we had met him previously in Episodes 1, 2, and 5, but they were more to like showcase his brutality and like ruthlessness, while episode 6 gave us some hints as to what Prometheus is up to, as well as those links to Ollie's actions throughout season 1 involving the list of names that his father gave him. But it was obviously the scene right at the end of episode 6 which has everyone talking, and that was obviously when we saw the now Deputy Mayor, Quentin Lance, waking up in his dirty apartment, he really needs to clean that up, with a cut across his arm, which Prometheus had sustained in a fight with Artemis earlier on the train, as well as picking up one of the throwing stars off of his coffee table that Prometheus had been killing people with throughout this episode. So due to this, a lot of people seem to think that we now have the identity of Prometheus, which, in my opinion, is not the case. This is one big red herring, but I do feel it is a red herring for Prometheus, but a storyline starter for Quentin Lance, which I will delve into more in a second. One thing that should be brought up is a thing that Felicity brings up to Ollie, where she says that the throwing stars that Prometheus has been using are made up of melted down arrows that Ollie has used in the past four years since he came back from the island. And these were all in police lockup. So the only people who would be able to access them are members of the Star City Police Department. Now, this was obviously tied in with Quentin Lance waking up and finding the stuff we mentioned earlier, which is basically brought on this whole, oh, okay, well, Quentin Lance is Prometheus then, isn't he? Now, I'm quickly going to go over the reasons as to why Quentin may be Prometheus, even though, as I said before, I really don't think he is. Now, there are only two, but if you have another reason to add, then leave it in the comments section below. It would be much appreciated. Now, the first possible reason or link to Lance possibly being Prometheus is the fact that we learn in episode one of this season that he had been out of Star City for a while with Donna Smoke or Felicity's mother. We saw them leave at the end of season four, but they had broken up and Lance had not told anyone he was back in town after that. So was he elsewhere between the breakup between himself and Donna Smoke and then his return to Star City? Possibly, but we would have to wait and see if that goes anywhere. And the second reason is more of a question, and that is, what character has been the most messed with thanks to Ollie's actions since he returned from the island? Yeah, th the answer is pretty obvious, it's, uh, it's Quentin Lance. And I think we all know how screwed over Quentin Lance has been over the course of the series of Arrow, so I don't think I have to go through all of it, it'd just be, you know, wasting time. But even though there is some links to Quentin Lance actually being Prometheus, I still stand by my point about this being a red herring. Basically because it's way too early to reveal like a masked villain in the show. It's way too early. And I also just don't think Quentin Lance is good setup. I don't think he actually would work as Prometheus. It just doesn't really add up. And if he ended up being Prometheus, it'd be incredibly disappointing. So I don't think they're going to do that. Ruin his character really, if you think about it. And if you think about it once again, shitting on the Lance family once again, like Sarah's been shat on twice, obviously Laurel's now dead, and are they going to do this with Quentin? I don't think so. In regards to Quentin waking up with the cut on his arm and those throwing stars on his coffee table, I believe this is Prometheus messing with people in Ollie's life to create an almost toxic environment around him. And this is to essentially slowly break Ollie's life down to pieces. So Quentin will start believing that he is the one committing these murders and struggle with that. It will be interesting to see who else is targeted by Prometheus next. I don't think we'll see too much before the mid-season finale. They might focus still on Quentin Lance being or him thinking that he's Prometheus. But I wouldn't be surprised in that last half of the season if maybe one or two more people are targeted. In regards to who I am putting as the frontrunner for the identity of Prometheus, Tommy Merlin is always a top pick. But due to the fact that the arrows used to make the throwing stars were in lockup in the Star City Police Department, it is hard to go past a cop candidate. So at this time, I know a lot of people might be going, you're an idiot, Pagey, what the hell? 
I am going to put Billy Malone, or Felicity's boyfriend, at the top of the list. They are focusing on him a decent amount. I know he's Felicity's boyfriend, but even apart from that, they are focusing on him. It is interesting that he went to the Green Arrow and warned him about Prometheus. And also, he's in the police department. He's a dude for this season. They could easily connect him back to the past seasons in weird flashbacks. So I'm not 100% saying, oh, Prometheus is Billy Malone. But at the moment, in regards to evidence and hints that we have gotten... In regards to who Prometheus could be, you really got to chuck Billy Malone at the top. He is the top candidate. But thanks for watching, guys. Leave your opinions in the comments section below. Do any of you actually think that Quentin Lance is Prometheus? I don't know. Do you? I know a lot of people are going to say Tommy. A lot of people might say Billy Malone. Some people might say Yao Fei. Who knows what you're going to say? But yeah, leave all of them in the comments section below. I'm pretty intrigued. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like on it. And subscribe if you are new. I'll catch you later, guys. Goodbye.